nakita ako ng chips dito or since part to make some salsa and dip ban tawag doon yung uh, sawsawa ng mga chips so anyway tuloy natin guys hi guys gawa tayo ng salsa and guac so for the chip lovers na ayaw na magbili ng mga mahal na sawsawan dyan gawa na lang tayo I'm making corn salsa and guacamole. Corn salsa, we're gonna be needing onion, tomatoes, cilantro, lemon, paprika, ano pa ba? Yung black pepper, and pink, pink Himalayan salt. So, in a bowl, get tayo ng chopped tomatoes, chopped cilantro, and then, since lahat ito chopped na, uh, we're just gonna add it all together in one bowl. Next, I'm gonna be adding some onions. Yung iba nilalagyan pa nila ng um, garlic powder kasi kung gusto nila, pero ako kasi hindi ko na ginawa yun. And... Medyo marami siyang onions, ano? Kasi I'm gonna be making two, two recipes from this. So, after nung mga onions, next step, I'm gonna be adding... <coughs> Excuse me. So, next, I'm gonna be adding pink salt, Himalayan salt, and then... Um, ito kasi yung kini twist so medyo matagalan ako and then also next I'm gonna be adding here yung uh, black pepper and also kini twist din siya kaya medyo matagal kung meron kayong hindi na to twist di mas maganda mas mabilis kayo yun pinapakita ko lang hindi ata na focus ilalagay ko na lang sa description box yung mga pangalan ng mga products just in case hindi nyo masyado makita. So, bali, next I'm gonna be adding some paprika. Now, it's all up to you kung gusto ninyo yung flavor ng paprika. Pero ako, I'm gonna be adding a little bit lang of paprika. Pa naman, they can add cumin or kung anong herbs pang meron kayo na gusto ninyo i-add. So, ayan, ganito lang kakonti. And then, bali, you're just gonna mix it all together. Lagyan na pala ng uh, lemons. Ayan. So, pakita ko sa inyo. Ito na siya. Makita nyo, dinadagdaw ko siya ng lemon. So, I started with half a lemon muna. Because later, I'm just going to keep adding some lemons, lemon juice. And then we're just going to keep on mixing it para maihalo yung flavors ng mga hinalo natin like salt, black pepper, lemon juice, and ano ba yung isa? Paprika. So, halu-haluin the longer it um, stays parang mamamarinate siya, mas flavorful siya. So, I separated the content into two, and then one, lalagyan ko ng corn. So, from the cob, hiniwa-hiwa ko lang siya sa sides, and then, um, yeah, hinalo ko na siya. Kung gusto niyo yung corn niyo yung nakalata, pwede rin yun. And yung gano'n man karami, nasa sa inyo yun, kasi sa akin, this is all I had. So, Ito lang yung aking gagamitin. And halu-haluin ninyo. And lasahan ninyo kung kailangan pa siya ng salt and pepper. So, sinaprate ko lang ng konti yung mga corn. Guys, kung wala kayong corn na idadagdag sa inyong salsa, okay lang. Uh, yung iba dito, minsan in place of corn, they add uh, ano ba yun? mango. So, mango salsa or strawberry salsa. Pwede rin. So, 
Nasa sa inyo, you can make different varieties of your salsa pag may party kayo. Pasensya na nangyayari niyo kamay ko. Okay, here is the corn salsa. Ready na siya. So, masarap na madali lang siyang gawin. And mostly na ingredients, I think, meron na kayo sa bahay. And for the next one is the um, guacamole. So, I'm gonna be using part of the salsa Remember in the beginning or when the salsa was made, uh, pinaghati ko siya before I added the corn on one of the salsa. And then yung kalahati, I separated it and tinabi ko na muna. Yung, yung salsa na yun without the corn is the one that I'm gonna add the avocado. So that's why we have the guacamole. So pakita ko sa inyo. So guys, for the guacamole, ang base na gagamitin natin is yung salsa without the corn. So, ang dadagnan natin dito is the avocado and then lemon. Ayan, I'm squeezing the half of the, the other half of the lemon para makuha natin yung juice. And then, this will make the avocado na turn darker color. And also, syempre yung flavor na rin niya. So, I'm gonna mash the avocado and then just mix it. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. And halu-haluin natin. Ayan. And yung iba, since I added paprika, di ba? Yung iba, they add cumin. So, nasa sa inyo na yun, whatever is available to you or preference ninyo. So, it's, it's quite easy and simple. So, Lalo na ngayong ang init na, maganda rin gumawa tayo ng ating sariling salsa. Minsan na nandiyan ka sa bahay and you don't want to go out anymore. Or in preparation for maybe a party. Ganyan. So, this is our guacamole. Ayan. Madali lang siyang gawin. The next recipe, I will be making chop soy with shrimp and sausage slices. Bale, the shrimp and the sausage um, pre-cooked na siya, so it's easy to prepare. So anyway, let's uh, let's do the <laughs> let's do the <laughs> tulina natin. So, uh, ito na. For my chop soy, I'm gonna be using onion, garlic, broccoli, celery. Red bell pepper, ano ba ba? cabbage, parsley, carrots. So for my protein, I'm using shrimp and chopped uh, sausage. So, I'm gonna be using Magic Sarat from Maji. And I'm also using canola oil, pink Himalayan salt, black pepper, and soy sauce. I will be putting all the names of the products in the description box. To continue, sute natin yung onion, garlic, hanggang mag change na yung kanyang color to a little bit translucent to onion and medyo little na rin yung garlic but not too long and after natin halu halu and let's move on to adding our proteins na like I said earlier since the shrimp is little na and clean partly little na siya so madali lang siya ma ma luto and also yung uh, sausage na gagamitin natin naluto na rin siya I cooked it separately and uh, so ayan sandaling halo halo then we can add the sausages that are sliced you can add any type of sausage kung anong gusto ninyo or you can omit the sausage or you can use the sausage without the shrimp bahala na kayo next um konting halo halo and I also added some oil there pero konti lang pala 
So, ayan. Haluin ang haluin. <coughs> Excuse me. So, at this point, I'm gonna add a little bit of the magic syrup. And then, we're gonna mix it. Kasi we want to flavor the proteins. And then, later on... Dagdag na naman kasi we want to build the flavors. Next, I'm adding the soy sauce. Oh my gulay. Parang napaka dark at kapal na itong sauce na to. Itong soy sauce na to. Nako. Tignan natin guys. Oh my goodness. Medyo nagulat ako sa itim niya pero I'm gonna keep going. So I'm adding the carrots. So guys, yung aking gulay ay medyo blunder. <laughs> so yung nilgay kong soy sauce, hindi ko siya masyadong kilala. So awan ko. Pero tutuloy ko pa rin. Uh, we'll see kung maitawid ko. No? Tutuloy ko pa rin siya. Um... Tingnan natin kung... Kasi medyo matamis ata siya eh. Pero, since magdadagdag pa ako ng ibang gulay, tutuloy ko na muna. And then, later, we'll see kung ano, babawasan ko na lang yung sauce. And then, uh, basta, pakita ko na lang sa inyo. Guys, parang napakaitim talaga niya, no? <laughs> oh my gulay. Medyo, hindi ko alam kung itutuloy ko. Pero, tutuloy ko na lang Ayan, I'm adding the celery. Medyo nagbablockin talaga yung mga vegetables. Hindi ko ba alam. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep cooking with the same uh, sauce. We'll see later kung paano ko matutweet to. Hello. <laughs> Grabe na to. Anyway, here's the cabbage. Ayan. Pinagdag ko na rin lahat. Eh, ang dami yung cabbage. Ayan. As I add all the vegetables one at a time, I keep hoping that the sauce will not be as dark. Pero parang nakokolor niya lahat ng vegetables into very, very dark. Parang hindi ko medyo nagugustuhan ito. Anyway, dagdag ko siya ng... 2 cups of water. Ayan, nakikita ko very dark pa rin siya. And continue pa rin. Dinagdag ko pa rin yung carrot, yung parsley, yung bell pepper. Ka, itim ng sauce. Ewan ko ba ang mukha na tuloy siyang ano, um, adobo. Hindi ko kinaya yung pagka itim ng sauce. So I ended up removing about 80% of the sauce. Kasi iba yung lasa niya, medyo sweet and salty na hindi ko maintindihan. And like I said, I just put the uh, different soy sauce, so <laughs> lesson learned. Anyway, I added more water, about one and a half to two cups of water. And then, um, add, I'm gonna add the remaining magic syrup and maybe some salt and pepper and see. We'll build from there. So, pakita ko sa inyo guys. So, ito na siya. Kahit pa pa na lumiwanag na ang kanyang kulay. And I added the magic syrup. And, ayan, yung konting sabaw niya. Medyo still dark, pero yung lasa niya mas masarap. Guys, so, kahit pa pa na naitawid naman, <laughs> medyo comedy lang. Um, lesson na natutunan natin. So, kasi ang kung, kung bakit ko naisipan bilhin yun. So, usually, I just buy the regular um, soy sauce, yung dato puti. Yun ang ginagamit ko. Or, flavoring, kung wala ako ng magi, magic sarap, uh, dinadagdag ko yung oyster sauce. And then, build from there. So, anyway, kahit pa paano, naitawid ko na rin, and okay naman siya. So, little dark pa rin yung sauce, pero yung flavor niya, masarap na siya. So, here it is. Pakita ko sa inyo. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click like, share, and subscribe. 
I'll see you in my next vlog. Stay safe and healthy. Let's go to the tower. Bye!